So one of the cool things about Dragon Ball The Breakers is you're able to equip a bunch of different skills to help you survive against the Raiders in the game. Now you can either play as yourself, as you can see, this is me, or you can go over here in the battle settings and play as Bulma, Oolong, Farm with Shotgun, and whoever else they plan to add in the future. The point of playing is these characters is to have their own unique skills. For example, Bulma can have the charming pose, Oolong can transform and also become a missile, and then the Farm with Shotgun has a hoe that he can do stuff with. But let's be real, we don't always want to play as these characters, we want to play as ourselves. Playing as custom characters, it's always way more fun in games like this. So what do you have to do? Easy. So as you guys know, the main lobby consists of uh, several different stations you can go up to. The Spirit Siphon lets you summon for new abilities, so stuff like Frieza, uh, Cell, Majin Buu, or all the other characters. This is how you get your skills. You can either use tickets, you can use TP medals, you can use money. So the more you play, the more you can unlock stuff over here. You also have the barber section, so you can change the character that you created. And you also have the shop, which lets you buy various things like skills, outfits, and things like that. A lot of people tend to ignore the middle section, the time chamber. And to be fair, it's called training. If I look at this and go training, I'm never going to use that. However, you should be using it because if you press triangle and go to skills, you can literally unlock any of these skills for your custom character. And the way it works is, is once you get something to level 10, you're able to use it. So for example, let's see how I unlock Krillin's shoe. All we got to do is get to level 10. Boom, boom, boom. Level 10, they'll say skills master, and now you can use it for any custom character. So pretty much once you have a character unlocked, that they'll release over the course of time with the game. All you gotta do is come to the, the training section in the time chamber, get to level 10, and you're able to equip it. Then at this point, all you gotta do is you press start, you go to your battle settings, scroll all the way down here, and look at that. The build that you just unlocked will be available for you to play with. So yeah, that's literally all you have to do. Sell! Shoot! And then you bounce. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, one last thing, because people will ask, the way you are actually able to unlock skills and also attacks as well is with the spirit. As you can see, when you're leveling stuff up, it is going to cost energy, 200, 300. Basically, the more you unlock it, the more expensive it gets. The way you get the spirit is actually by just summoning and I believe playing the game as well. So pretty much anytime you summon, anytime you get something you already have, it will be automatically converted to extra spirits. So in this case, we're going to go to quick skip over here. We already have TN. As you can see in the top left, it says we got 900 spirit added to my overall pool of spirits. So basically, the more you summon, getting dupes isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing in the future. It sucks that you don't get new stuff you're looking for, but that spirit will be used in the future for other stuff that you want to unlock. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Again, simply just walk to the time chamber, choose the ability you want to unlock, get it to level 10, equip your character, and you're good to go. So yeah, hopefully this video helps. Again, if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I guess uh, we'll just take them from there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.